Hi kids, good to see you again. Happy holidays. I'm going to show you today how to do some fun Christmas ornaments. When you start out drawing them, just think of circles, half circles, and um, the way to get those so perfect is to have something to trace with. So we are going to need a cup uh, of some sort. It could be two different sizes because actually I could use the small and the big size of the side if I want to. Uh, you will need a pencil to draw with, an eraser, and something to sharpen your pencil with. Okay. When you're all done, you're going to need something to color with. You could do colored pencils or crayons. I used crayons in mine. And I only used yellow, which I'm calling gold, red, green, and I also used some purple for this star in here. Okay? Alright, so now what we're going to do is start by tracing our circles. I'm going to use a Sharpie or a black marker just so you can see it better. But you should use your pencil because your pencil you can always erase with pencil. So I'm going to start by first doing my first circle at one end of the paper and it's nice to have these at different heights. I'm going to trace my other circle as far over as I can. Okay, so now I have two ornaments and then I'm going to put one in the middle. Now the one in the middle, I don't have a way to trace that, so I'm going to sketch it with pencil first, and I'm going to do a half circle and a half circle, like that. I'm going to put it in with my marker so you can see it better. Next thing I'm going to do is put a rectangle at the top of, and in the middle of the top of every one of my ornaments. So here we go. Okay. I do want to say that something like styrofoam, it does move, so when you trace it, it may not trace as perfectly as you like. So you may want to get something that's a little bit harder, like a cup uh, that you drink coffee with from the cupboard, if possible, or a small bowl. Um, or it could be a plastic lid from um, something, okay? All right, now the next thing you want to think about uh, is these have to be hanging from something, don't they? So we've got to draw a string next. And usually there's a little hook. So we're going to make a circle, a little circle or oval. I think I'm going to go with an oval this time. And then you need a string that goes up from that because they are all hanging from a string, okay? All right, then after that, you wanna think about pattern. So I'm gonna start here with a striped pattern. And it's nice to have a little bit of a bend because it makes it look uh, more three-dimensional or rounder. Could do as many stripes as you want. I think I'll stop there. Let's see, in the middle one, I'm going to do a star or a snowflake. Okay, so I'll start by doing that. It's 
going to look kind of like a T or a cross. Then I'm going to do shorter one here and here. So that's like an X kind of on top. Then I'm going to add circles. Pretty happy with that. Okay, now I'm going to move on to a different kind of pattern and I want it to be really different. So what could I do? Let's say instead of doing my stripes this way, do wiggly, wiggly stripes. So let's try this. And then I, maybe I'll do one over here. And I think I want to add some more design to this, so I'm going to add maybe a half circle here, and a circle here, and here. Okay, I like that. Now at this point, I'm all ready to color. And my choice of coloring was this. I did red and green, gold and purple, gold, red and green. These are actually yellow or gold, and I just went over top with a little bit of red. And there's your Christmas ornaments. Now, if you really want to show um, a pine, some pine tree, or you want to color this green behind or something like that, you can add to any kind of detail you want to it, but right now you are all ready to color it however you like. And you know what? After you do this, you can do more ornaments and come up with more designs and more patterns. Hope you enjoyed this lesson. I know I did. And we'll see you soon. Have a great holiday. Bye now.